I hope Ravers. As you can see, Raimondo is not here this week. You may recall that last week there were two controversial incidents that called into question both the integrity of Ray Ruttles Race Night as an institution and also of Raimondo as lead commentator and presenter. Firstly, Raimondo was all set to award a crucial point to Don't Eat Yellow Snow for a tied third place finish without going to another camera angle and in fact needed prompting to do so. Secondly, due to his preoccupation with his own horse, Don't Eat Yellow Snow, he forgot to amend the winner during the confirmation of the results to read Village Green Preservation Society and instead listed Don't Eat Yellow Snow as last week's winner. Raimondo has therefore issued a statement today stating that he will be stepping down from broadcasting duties for a period of reflection. Uh, anyway, uh, that's why you got me doing it tonight. Uh, so uh, let's crack on then, without further ado. Hey up, Ravers. Welcome to Ickle Ray's Race Night. <laughs> Welcome to the dining room for the 7.30 and the five more sleeps till Crimbo Chase. Not long to go now till Christmas, is it? No. Uh, I know it's probably going to be a bit different for a lot of us this year, but, uh, you know, we're still going to make the best of it. For example, you can join me in the dining room on Boxing Day for the season finale, can't you? Get that in the diary straight away. Any road, the five more sleeps till Crimbo Chase will be contested over a distance of 3 feet 11 inches and the going is firm. And there's five runners. So let's take a look at the gate draw for this, the penultimate race in the 2020 race night season. In gate one, we've got Blue Mover. Mathematically, still could end up with wooden spoons, so he needs to get some points to avoid that, doesn't he? Yeah. In gate two, the Scarlet Pumper now. Oh, we wondered why you were keeping the bird. Uh, that explains it. Very topical, very seasonal. Uh, well done, fella. Good. Gate three, don't eat yellow snow. How crucial will that missed point be from last week? Is that going to scupper his hopes of winning the title? Because in gate four, we've got the competition leader, all white on the night. Looking quietly confident there. She appears to have paced her challenge perfectly. A win tonight will make her the champion. And in gate five, Village Green Preservation Society. Looking very determined there after that win last week. She obviously ain't giving up hope, even though it's definitely going to be a long shot for her to win from here. And the odds. Well, we've got Blue Movie at 6 to 1. Scarlet Pumpernel rank outsider at 13 to 2. But don't eat your snow, all white on the night, and Village Green Preservation Society are your joint favourites at 3 to 1. And remember, these odds are just for information purposes, but you can see uh, an indication of how close this season's been that we've got those three runners tied for joint favourites. Unbelievably exciting. And this is how things stand as we go into tonight's penultimate race. We can see all white on the night. Top of the leaderboard on 57 points. A three point win for her will take her into an unassailable lead and she will be crowned champion a week early. But don't eat yellow snow will be doing his damnedest to stop her. So he desperately needs a win tonight. And it's still mathematically possible for Village Green Preservation Society to win. But she's going to have to win both races pretty much I think. And likewise, it's still mathematically possible for the pumper now to overtake Blue Mover and avoid the wooden spoon. But as I say, it's going to be a long shot for both of them runners to be able to achieve their respective ambitions. Well, we had an event-filled race last week, didn't we? We saw Don't Eat Yellow Snow taking a diversion to avoid the gravy stain. And then all the runners got snagged on Ruttles Up apart from Village Green Preservation Society and she nearly came a cropper on the Gibbons teeth but she managed to hold off the other contenders to get a win 
But you know what, it's on the night, you got a crucial second place and two points which took a top at Leidenborg. And don't you let us know, missed out on a crucial point uh, in controversial circumstances, as I mentioned previously. Well, I'll tell you what, Raimondo will be hoping for a Don't Eat Yellow Snow win, because if Don't Eat Yellow Snow is crowned champion for the season, that means Raimondo won't have any washing up to do until April. So you can see he's got a lot riding on this. That's what's compromised his impartiality. Uh, anyway, let's go over to the starting gates. Yeah, and they're on the starters all days. And they're off. And they all get a good start out of the gates. There's Nat to separate them as they approach the stool. But oh, they've all slipped up on the stool, apart from Village Green Preservation Society, who leads on this near side from Blue Movie on the far side. And they're over Ruttles up. It's Village Green Preservation Society from Blue Movie as they approach the Gibbons Teeth. And Village Green Preservation Society is going to get another win. Nice, sketching. Third place. Yes. You're supposed to be reflecting. I've reflected, I've reflected. Well, you didn't reflect for very long, did you? Uh, any road. What an impressive start by all the runners. Blue Movie has no problem with Gravy Stain, although it does look like it takes nickel diversion. But it's the stool where they all slip up, apart from Village Green Preservation Society who's over it brilliantly and she's way out in front at this point with Blue Movie in second and All White on the night in third and as they get to Ruttles Hook All White on the night gets an almighty yank back from Ruttles Hook and she is out of the equation from there on and Village Green Preservation Society is looking so imperious here her fans will be saying why couldn't she do this a few weeks ago Look at her here as she takes the Gibbons teeth brilliantly. Blue Movie is in second, which means he is guaranteed to avoid the wooden spoon. And Don't Eat Yellow Snow manages to get the crucial third place. <laughs> yes, it does. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Any road, let's get confirmation of the results. So, the results of the dining room 7.30 and the five more sleeps till Crimbo Chase. And first place with Village Green Preservation Society. Two wins on the trot. It's put her back in contention. Who would have thought it? Unbelievable turnaround. We thought she were dead and buried a few weeks ago and now she is back in the mix. Second with Blue Mover. And them two points she secured there condemn the Scarlet pumping out to the wooden spoon. And third, Don't It Yellow Snow, a crucial point that puts him level with all white on the night at the top again. But you will notice that one runner did not finish today, and it were all white on the night, who got tugged off by Ruttles Hook, and then got noshed off by the Gibbons Teeth. And look at her web wobbling away there, she nearly toppled <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> Stop gloating, eh, hey, Mondo? Come on, come and join us here at the microphone. All right, then, yeah. Great win for Village Green Preservation Society, weren't it? It was indeed, it was indeed. Uh, and a crucial point for Don't Eat Yellow Snow. Let's see what it's done to the leaderboard. Well, I'm sure you'll be delighted to see, Raymondo, that Don't Eat Yellow Snow is back on top of the leaderboard. Level on points, we all white on the night, but is top by virtue of the countback rule and having had 11 wins to all white on the night's 10. <laughs> your knees will be livid. <laughs> Don't count your chickens too early, Raymondo. It's all going to come down to next week, ain't it? because you cannot write off Village Green Preservation Society either. We had done, but look at that. She's on 55 points. If she gets a win next week, it will take her to 58. And as long as Don't Eat Yellow Snow and All White on the Night do not finish second, she will be crowned champion because she's had 13 wins, more than any other runner. So things are slightly out of her hands, but she can still be champion. And the second place for Blue Mover today means that he has avoided the wooden spoon and has consigned the Scarlet Pumpernel to last place in the 2020 season. But it's all to race for at the top, ain't it? Any one of them top three can be crowned champion. Yes, indeed, Raymondo. Yep, so you're going to need to join me and Nicole Ray in the dining room next week. Boxing Day, 7.30pm for season finale. And we're going to have a bumper edition of the show for you as well. Yep. And in the meantime, if you want to relive some of the action from the season, get online at radioviews.co.uk forward slash race night. All the old races are on there so you can catch up on anything you missed. Or just relive some of the fantastic action that you did witness the first time round. 
and drop us a message. You can tweet me at Ray Ruttle or pop a message in the comments below or get in touch via the website. It's always lovely to hear from you. And we will see you next week, won't we, Ray? We certainly will, Ray Mondo. Okie do. No, I don't think you've reflected enough, personally. I, I am. I'm reflecting. I'm reflecting. I'm reflecting.